Okay, in this question, we're given the following. So it says if 3x minus y equals 12, we want to know what's the value of 8 raised to the power of x divided by 2 raised to the power of y. So we have the answer choices 2 raised to the power of 12, 4 raised to the power of 4, 8 raised to the power of 2, or lastly, part D, it says the value cannot be determined from the given information. So this is one that I think you could always start plugging in, you know, make some values of x and y that give you 12 and simplify it. Let's do it the algebraic way, though. So let's kind of show, I think, what they're, what they're going for here. So if we look at 8 raised to the power of x divided by 2 raised to the power of y, the first thing, I think the first key observation is noticing that 8 is a power of 2, right? We can write um, 8 as 2 raised to the third power, because 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 will give us 8. So again, 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3. So I'm going to substitute that in. So I can have 2 to the third raised to the power of x, that's what I'm replacing my 8 with, divided by 2 raised to the power of y. So again, this is 2 raised to the power of 3x over 2 to the y. Okay, so hey, you know, I'm seeing this 3x and this y, and that looks, you know, I, I see this 3x minus y in my original, this original equation. And now we can use properties of exponents, and we can just subtract. We can write 2 to the power of 3x divided by 2 to the power of y as 2 raised to the power of 3x minus y. And, well, now we know. We've got, we're given this information that 3x minus y equals 12. So we're simply left with 2 raised to the power of 12, and that will be our solution. So answer choice A is the correct solution. You could also do something like the following, you know, again, if you had to, if you weren't sure about this. You could always, for example, you know, if you let x equal 4 and y equal 0, right, 3 times 4 minus 0 will give you 12. And then you can substitute in. You'd have 8 to the 4th over 2 to the 0. And again, you can reduce 8 to the 4th. Again, you have to make this observation that you can write 8 as 2 to the power of 3. But again, you could arrive at this same exact answer by doing it that way as well.